Strong and severe weather ripped through the valley this weekend. It was definitely a busy night for our storm team. Yes, it was. The storm left behind quite the aftermath in some areas. Storm Team 10's Joseph Dames visited some of the sites and talked with one homeowner who woke up to a boom. Rushing in memories. Seven years ago today we had the flood, which we were affected severely. Ann Brooks walks through the damage from ferocious storms that moved through Vigo County last night, reliving some of the fear from the flooding from 2008. It was just devastating. Although flooding wasn't an issue this time around, the damage still hit hard. We heard the roaring of the winds. It was the most horrifying sound I've ever heard from wind. Wind that caused damage all through the property. This is what woke me up here. This hit our window up there okay. at our bedroom. See our porch, yeah. how it pushed it back. Yeah. That's the only damage to this building. The works of straight line wind that showed their strength through uprooted trees, down power lines and yard decorations. It's just a mess. Leaving Brooks with a long list of clearing out. I don't know how long it's going to take to get it all cleaned up. In Vigo County with photojournalist David Essex, Joseph Dames, Storm Team 10. There were no reports of tornadoes, just strong wind and heavy rainfall from last night's storms.